Well, you know that face. That's the face of one of Port Alberni's most famous dogs. Yes, it is Shadow, the service dog. And I'm here with his lovely owner, Kayla Olick. And Kayla, I'm going to ask you to tell us a little bit about what Shadow does and why he is so important to you. Well, Shadow is my seizure response dog. So everything that he does helps me because it helps prevent or alert to any seizures I'm going to have and all of what he can do includes getting somebody for help or fetching a phone or barking for help and he pushes those life alert buttons so he does a lot of good stuff. I can't believe it but we've seen it we've been out with the camera we've seen it Shadow really does push an alert button to, to make sure help comes and Kayla, I know from other conversations we've had with you, this has made such a difference in your life, having having Shadow. Yeah, he's a guardian angel, truly. Like, he gave me my independence back and just being able to feel more confident about myself now. And it's really a big difference in my life. A guardian angel, a beautiful, cuddly, lovely guardian angel. I say cuddly, he's a working dog, but he's, he's your best friend yeah, too, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Now, this is a guardian angel that came with a price tag though, didn't it? Yeah, like normally these service dogs from the foundation I got them from, they cost $25,000 plus to foster, train them and all that, but um, I got them for free. <laughs> $25,000 and it was given to you free of charge. That almost <laughs> makes me tear up. That, that's a gift that changed your life. Yeah, like all thanks to the Lions Foundation and at, like Purina helps give the money and all donations that they get all goes towards these programs and providing individuals with disability, the dog guys without having to pay and they covered our travel to Ontario and food, well, they fed us there and accommodation and everything, it was amazing. It is amazing. Now, this service dog, Shadow, is a seizure response dog, but they are trained for all sorts of different situations, aren't they? There are our autism alert dogs. What else? So they have autism alert dogs, seizure response dogs, diabetic alert dogs, which is one of their newer programs. They have hearing dogs and ones where they train them for people with mobile disabilities. And then they have this canine vision dogs. I think this is just such an extraordinary program. I know in the Alberni Valley there are several service dogs um, helping folks out with different disabilities. And Kayla, I'm talking to you because you've taken it on yourself to help raise money to pay for this program so other people get dogs like Shadow. Yeah, like once I got him and getting him for free, especially, I was like, I have to do something to help give back to them because otherwise I wouldn't be where I am today. So for the last couple years, I've been planning the walk for dog guides and then now I've taken it on to try and sponsor a dog myself too, so because it means so much to me. <laughs> oh, Kayla, I can't imagine the undertaking to sponsor a dog. Do you have to raise the entire $25,000? It depends on what program you're trying to sponsor the dog for, and because I'm trying to sponsor a seizure response dog, I have to raise $10,000 for that. And I think right now I have maybe like Twelve, fifteen hundred, possibly so far. Well, Kayla, how old are you? Twenty-five. Twenty-five years old, working so hard to make sure somebody else gets a guardian angel. Kayla, thank you so much for telling me about it today, and good luck. Thank you, and you're welcome.